we do have members that will probably say, I can't physically come on that building and, and participate in worship and in meetings the way I normally did. In the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic, churches in America can be a valuable resource for a lot of people. The Auburn First United Methodist Church had to make a laundry list of changes going 100% virtual and canceling all of their events. Pastor Daniel has been working at the church for a few years now and has had to cancel a large number of the church's biggest events. So we we had already been without worship for probably two or three weeks. But then Palm Sunday for us is a big Sunday because there's a big Easter egg hunt that we open up to the community. And then the following Sunday was Easter Sunday. And uh, I mean, there were... There were three people in the building on Easter Sunday because we were we were just recording the service. Having the building empty and COVID free has led Pastor Daniel and his staff to become more tech savvy. A worship service plan for me before uh, COVID was about 15 hours. Uh, if it was a special service, maybe 20 hours. Right now, it's closer to 30 to 40 hours a week. Now I'm getting faster at it, so eventually I, I'll get it down, but the editing part is really hard. Now with less service and no physical contact, the church is forced to use other methods to stay in touch with their members. And we on a weekly basis send out emails to say, hey, this is what's going on. And even though we're not having our normal meetings and our normal worship services, we're still sending out notifications to everybody on a weekly basis just to try to stay in touch. Staying in touch is easier said than done since the church's congregation is made up of primarily older people. Our congregation for the most part is an older congregation and we've had, um, not all of them are very tech savvy, so they don't have computers, they don't have smartphones. Some people who come in for um, financial assistance and this one woman, before we locked our doors and didn't unlock them anymore, um, she kept coming in and I kept saying, well, right now we don't have, you know, funds available. And I said, you know, it, it might be difficult. And she's like, well, why? And I'm like, because we're not having church. And she's like, well, why? And I'm like, because there's a pandemic going on. And she goes, well, I see that on the news, but I just don't understand it, you know? And this is a woman who was probably in her early to mid seventies. So right now I'm in the social hall of the church where they'd usually be having their brunch for the homeless. But as you can see behind me, it's very much so empty. Between the social learning curve and the confusion amongst the community, there is still a strong sense of positivity and perseverance. Through this experience, the church has been able to gain new skills and plan for new precautions that will help them when the stay home, stay healthy order has been lifted. I think we're going to keep doing online worship. Uh, I think we're going to continue to communicate more and more through uh, YouTube and Facebook and our website. I will say, you know, another positive that's come out of this, it's been a lot of work for Pastor Daniel and the group that have been putting together the worship services, but we have definitely, and I'm really proud of us as a church, we have created an online presence that we didn't have before the pandemic. Along with the boost in their online presence, the church's staff will also be implementing some new rules to prevent another outbreak. But I think the, the biggest change is going to be that we're not going to be shaking hands as much or maybe at all. We're not going to be hugging people. We are going to probably do communion with face mask on. We are not going to be passing the, the offering plate around. These are big changes for a church to make, but are essential in the steps back to normalcy. In Auburn, I'm Promise Calloway, Murrow News 8.